Invenio's content financial solution for the media industry is designed to help you make faster, better financial decisions by creating a streamlined, automated process to increase the financial efficiency throughout the content creation, acquisition and utilization process. Built on SAP's Digital Core S4 HANA solution and certified on SAP App Center, it's ready to help you in your transformational journey with SAP. The following short demo is designed to give you an overview of some of the features of the Invenio Content Financial Solution. So let's look at an overview of the system components. Here we start with the concept approval form. When a member of the team comes up with an idea, they need approval from superiors. The concept approval form is an efficient way to showcase an idea across the pre-designed work base for feedback and approvals. Once this concept approval form is approved, it's developed into a deal memo. The deal memo is a summary of the concept or acquisition and goes into budget details, production house choices, lead talents and staffing contracts. Once the deal memo is approved, the standard SAP elements are created automatically and procurement starts. POs will automatically be created. Once the services have been delivered or rendered, the service receipts are created and subsequent invoicing posted automatically. Inventory recognition is an important step as this inventory will soon become IP on the balance sheet. It's at this point the inventory recognition and amortization principles are defined for the organization. Now, with this basic understanding of the system components, let's have a look at the solution. In this demo, we'll be showcasing some key features to the solution, including the concept approval form, deal memo, milestone achievement, content receipt, inventory recognition, and amortization. Most of these stages are developed by Envenio with some standard SAP Fiori applications such as My Inbox, Procurement, Invoicing Settlements, and Amortization. From the Launchpad, we can access the Concept Approval form. Here you can capture key information like content type and category, nature of the program, for example, co-production meaning a collaboration between in-house and a third-party production house. Other fields are configurable and can be adjusted to customer needs. Typical information captured includes genre, subgenre, number of episodes, average duration, estimated release date, and estimated budget cost. In this form, the creative department will document what the concept is all about, including a synopsis. Once the concept is approved in principle, the budget is still at a broad level. This will be amended in a deal memo as negotiations are finalized. Deal Memo is at the heart of the Invenio Content Financial Solution and is a central place for capturing all the details related to a production like budgets, artist contracts, vendor contracts, basic rights information and milestone achievements. We will touch upon some of the key areas of the Deal Memo here. Every Deal Memo has a version number, which changes as it gets updated. At this stage, the detailed budgets are entered in the system. Budgets can be created for in-house, production house or both, depending on the nature of the program. These budgets are configurable depending on the organization needs and industry standards. Once the costs have been entered into the deal memo, the system apportions this cost equally across each of the episodes. You have the flexibility here to change any episode costs such as the pilot episode or for the grand finale. You have the ability to create artist or talent contracts as part of the deal memo. Each artist contract can have more detailed information such as number of episodes contracted for and milestone payments. Naturally, this depends on the organization and how they've negotiated milestones as to how this is configured. There can be many more than two milestones per artist. Apart from the talent contracts, vendor contracts is a critical element of deal memo, especially with production houses. The production house contracts also capture cost per episode, delivery format, and delivery dates. As and when the content is received, the delivery date will be updated and the payment linked with delivery is initiated. We also capture basic level rights information like the start date, the end date, the validity, territory restrictions, and the number of runs that are allowed. The next part is the schedule and expected viewership ratings. Various departments such as marketing, revenue, commercial and finance departments contribute here to come up with projected revenue numbers based on expected viewership ratings. This now provides the basis of the P&L document, which allows the stakeholders to make decisions such as whether to create in-house, co-produce or outsource. Now the budgets have been assigned in the deal memo, POs have been created 
and services are being rendered, we can now start booking expenses. Almost invariably, the vendor and artist payments are linked with milestone achievement. This could be triggered by a target date or an event such as an interface telling our system that the content has been received. The system initiates the release of the payments linked to this milestone. The subsequent processing is done automatically. At this stage, the costs are captured against the budget and deal memo is updated to reflect the real-time status of budget versus spend and the amount remaining at hand to spend for the future. As the system has been automated for the content financial solution, we've cut out three or four pages of navigation through various stages of cost booking. The inventory recognition is programmed so that once you've received the content, you'll be able to recognize the inventory. This process can also be triggered through an interface. When content receipt is confirmed, the inventory recognition will progress. We're now going to look at inventory recognition as the content has been received and the inventory is good to be recognized. We can record the actual amount paid to the production house and provide for the rest of the value to recognize the inventory at 100% value. This is a calculation engine we've built so the system will automatically provide the deficit value in the system. Finally, we come to the amortization part, which is based on a standard SAP depreciation transaction. This will post the depreciation of the inventory to the final books of accounts, a process usually carried out by the finance department. Our solution allows you to create a flexible matrix for defining amortization rules. You can amortize your assets using various methods like run-based, time-based or revenue-based rules to amortize your content. This was a demonstration of some of the key functionality of the Invenio Content Financial Solution, from creation of the concept to inventory recognition and amortization. As highlighted in the demo, the solution is highly customizable to individual company requirements, and with the in-depth knowledge of our media consultants, we will be able to advise you on how this can enhance and streamline your business. If you'd like to talk to one of our media consultants, please call us using the contact details on your screen or visit invenio-solutions.com.